Hello and happy Saturday. I have had a productive morning, so I'm gonna show you what I did. I installed some ducts. So I started out this morning by drilling holes in the side of my house. Something I always try to do very carefully because I don't want to biff it up any more than uh, I need to. So I drilled holes for these vents, which is for our ERV. Um, ERV is an energy recovery ventilation. It's essentially, this is the air intake, uh, like the inverse of a dryer vent. This is where air is being sucked into the house. And then it goes into that filter that I just turned on and it basically crosses paths um, and exchanges temperature, but does not crisscross the air that comes back out of the house. So it goes in here, it goes through the ERV and then it dumps upstairs and then it goes back into the ERV to warm up the incoming air and then it comes out the exhaust here and this is just like a dryer van is blowing um, blowing stale air outside of the house um, the installation recommendation says they should be at least six feet apart I've got them eight feet apart um, and they look good um, I'm pleased with how they turned out and I'm excited because that was one step closer to getting insulated was finishing drilling holes in the side of the house so they can spray the band joists with spray foam right around those wall penetrations. So in here is where the intake air comes in. It comes through this four inch duct. I need to finish insulating it. Um, I wasn't sure. I've got this stuff here which is insulated flexible duct. Uh, it's it's a uh, corrugated plastic uh, with pink insulation around it. Um, I'll probably end up using that because I have enough left over. I may rip out that tube on the inside and then just do that quick section that I have left to do. Um, and the air comes in here and this is where it comes out. I just, this doesn't have to be insulated because it's going outside of the house, but it was already around the flexible flex duct. So I just decided I'll use it, whatever. Um, so I, I'll tape up these ends and make it clean looking eventually here. Um, but I got it connected so the stale air goes out along that line and out the side of the house. Next, I need to install the fittings that come to, the, to this side. Um, this side here, this is the return air from the, uh, from the basement that heads outside. And then this is the supply air blowing in. So I need to connect to here, over, and up to this duct, which goes up and over and up into the second floor hallway to, to put fresh air in the upstairs to allow nice air circulation in the house. And I just spent this afternoon cleaning the basement. The first, uh, well, it hasn't been the first, but some of the early times cleaning the basement uh, and it's certainly not gonna be the last but it's relaxing it's productive and uh, I function better in a clean space um, it's more efficient and I, I hate feeling crap under my feet even wearing shoes and then the sawdust from the saw tracks it all over the house and just makes uh, one mess bigger so I spent all afternoon today cleaning up the basement it started off by, eh, I'll vacuum. You know, I'll shop vac, get some of the spots like uh, where I got the ducks up yesterday and had to drill through the hole so there's sawdust piled on top of the wall and on the floor. And so I had to do stuff like that. And then as I was doing that, there's cardboard on the floor that never got picked up and it just needed to be recycled. So I crammed that in the recycle bins, which were in the back of dad's truck. So I needed to go get his truck. Since I got his truck, I took broken shop lights brought them back to his basement because they're his lights. Um, I took the kerosene heaters that we haven't used since like January back to the barn because uh, now that we've got wood stoves, we just haven't bothered to use that the dirty smelly kerosene. Um, so I took those back and that helped clean up kind of the dining room where they were hanging out. And I cleaned up the trash, I was able to vacuum. We're mostly done the drains and the plumbing, so I went ahead and stacked up a bunch of uh, the plumbing boxes. We've still got a little bit to do and I'll drag those back out, but they were just in a giant pile in the middle of the floor. So I finally picked those up. So 
I just feel better now that I've cleaned up the basement. Um, I need to bring in some wood, as you can see. My pile's getting pretty low. I've, I've like literally like I could enough to start it, and that'd be about it. So the next day I'm down here at the house, I've got to bring in some wood. I've still got some cleaning up to do on this side of the basement before insulation comes. Um, because there's still plywood out and the cabinets are up against the wall. Everything needs to be moved to the center before they spray foam this basement. But a lot of this plywood's gonna get used to sheathe the inside of the ramp area, especially the roof uh, that's gonna be packed with cellulose above it. So a lot of that's gonna get used. So there's no sense moving it yet because it needs to be put up <clears throat> before uh, drywall comes and or before uh, insulation comes and before I can move those cabinets, I'll move those cabinets where this plywood is after I uh, finish that ceiling. Yesterday we got quite a bit done too. Um, I did a bunch of air sealing in the way that we closed a bunch of holes after drilling more holes in the side of the house. I finished installing the duct work for the bathroom exhaust fan, so that's mounted. The vent on the outside of the house is finished. I got the ERV vents plumbed to the outside of the house to the unit, so that is complete and those holes are filled, uh, filled with duct, which is good. And I had holes drilled on the side of my house for uh, our hose fixtures, uh, and then I realized they were the wrong ones. I didn't get the right kind with the, with the pecs fitting on the end. I needed to return them and get other ones, so I've sat here for just about a month with uh, a couple of holes in the wall. So it was good to finally get those closed up uh, and stop some of the unwanted air just flowing into the house. Uh, we also installed some vapor barrier on the second floor ceiling. Um, got that up uh, before some drywall. I ordered a bunch more uh, to do the rest of the ceilings. Actually, I did enough to do all the exterior walls of the house. I made one big order there. We went ahead and did a bunch of blocking in the attic so the edges of the cellulose can be deeper than the middle and still give us some usable space and I vented the sloped ceilings, not yesterday, earlier in the week, um, where they're gonna spray foam up the slopes where it's not deep enough for cellulose. So, a lot of behind the scenes work going on, nothing too interesting, but I shot a few clips here or there, so you'll see plenty of that. Anyways, it's been a productive weekend and we're making progress um, and gearing up for insulation, so we're doing a lot of that air sealing and uh, in, the, in the penetrating the wall stuff getting that finished up before they come in and they'll spray foam. So, um, I guess that's all for this weekend. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you later.